Mastering Possessive Adjectives and Pronouns, Essential Grammar Guide. This is Easy Grammar from eLearning English. Good day, language learners. Welcome back to Easy Grammar from eLearning English, your go-to source for mastering the English language. Today, we have an exciting lesson in store for you. We'll be diving deep into the fascinating world of possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. By the end of this video, you'll be wielding these grammar gems with confidence. So without further ado, let's get started. Indeed faith, possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns are like the guardians of ownership in English sentences. They tell us who or what possesses something. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Absolutely, John. And guess what, everyone? Possessive adjectives are always located before the noun they refer to. My, your, his, her, its, our, their are possessive adjectives and they do not stand alone. They function as determiners in front of a noun. You're spot on faith. Now, let's take a closer look at some possessive adjectives in action with captivating examples. Picture this. Tom was thrilled to introduce his sister to his best friend. See that? His sister is a possessive phrase indicating that the sister belongs to Tom. And here's another one for you. Her bag. Lily left her bag on the bus and had to rush back to retrieve it. In this example, her bag is a possessive phrase indicating that the bag belongs to Lily. A roaring example. Its teeth. The lion bared its teeth, letting out a low growl as a warning to the intruders. Can you feel the tension? In this example, its teeth is a possessive phrase indicating that the teeth belong to the lion. Your home. Make yourself comfortable. This is your home now. In this example, your home is a possessive phrase indicating that the home belongs to the person being addressed. Our class. Our class worked together to organize a surprise farewell party for our favorite teacher. In this example, our class is a possessive phrase indicating that the class belongs to the group of students working together. Their drawings. The art exhibition showcased the students' talents and everyone admired their drawings. In this example, their drawings is a possessive phrase indicating that the drawings belong to a group of students whose talents were showcased in the art exhibition. Absolutely, John. Possessive adjectives add a touch of personal flair to nouns. But here's the catch, they always keep company with a noun. You're right, Faith. But possessive pronouns are the solo artists of ownership. Possessive pronouns are used instead of a full noun phrase to avoid repeating words. For example, her hair is long, but my hair is short. Her hair is long, but mine is short. That's the magic of possessive pronouns. Everyone, imagine this sentence. Her hair is long, but my hair is short. Good, but repetitive, right? You bet faith, to jazz it up, we use a possessive pronoun like mine, so it becomes, her hair is long, but mine is short. Now that's smooth. Remember, folks, possessive pronouns never crave the company of a noun. They thrive alone, exuding confidence. Her hair is long, but mine is short. Her hair is long, but my hair is short. Notice that possessive adjectives are always followed by a noun, but possessive pronouns are not followed by a noun. They are used alone, 
They refer to a noun or noun phrase already used to replace it to avoid repetition. Precisely. Let's admire this sentence. His coat is gray, yours is brown. His is followed by a noun, so it's an adjective pronoun, while yours is a possessive pronoun, so I used yours instead of your coat. His and its can be used both before nouns, and alone they can be used as possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. Mine is a possessive pronoun. Add the letter S to her, your, our, and their to replace the noun or noun phrase already used. You're on fire, Faith, but here's a little twist. The magical apostrophe S combo gives nouns that touch of possessiveness. What makes a noun possessive is the apostrophe and S, but possessive pronouns do not have apostrophe. For instance, its is a possessive pronoun, but its with an apostrophe is a contracted form of it is or it has. You nailed it, John. Another example, yours is a possessive pronoun, but your with an apostrophe is a contracted form of you are. The apostrophe makes all the difference, but don't let it trip you up. Absolutely. So, there you have it, folks. The captivating world of possessive adjectives and pronouns unveiled before your very eyes. Now, it's time to check your understanding with an exercise. Here's how it will work. You'll have to listen to a short phrase, and you must choose the correct possessive pronoun or possessive adjective to complete the phrase. You'll have 10 seconds to choose the right answer, so let's get started. Question 1. Whose book is this? A. My. B. Mine. C. Me. D. I. B. Mine. Question 2. The red car is A. There. B. Theirs. C. Them. D. They. B. Theirs. Question 3. Is this pen or A. Your mine. B. Yours. My. C. Yours. Mine. D. Your. My. A. Your mine. Question 4. The cat is washing. Pause. A. It's. B. It's. See it. D his. A it's. Question 5. Jane and Peter are on vacation. This camera is A our. B ours. C we. D us. Be ours. Question 6. Mark is a good friend of A him. B he. C his. D himself. Friend of him is not grammatically correct. The correct phrase is friend of his. Friend of his means a friend belonging to a male person. For example, Mark introduced me to a friend of his. 
Question 7. Dog is very friendly and loves to play fetch. A my. B your. C his. D there. A my. Question 8. She is going to visit grandmother tomorrow. A my. B your. C her. D its. C her. Question 9. We need to finish. Project before the deadline. A my. B your. C our. D his. C our. Question 10. The book is on. Desk in the study room. A my. B your. C her. D there. A my. Question 11. The cat groomed. Fur for hours. A my. B your. C his. D its. D its. Question 12. Peter and Sarah will bring laptops to the meeting. A my. B your. C his. D there. D there. Stay tuned for more enlightening lessons to supercharge your English skills. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join our amazing community of language enthusiasts. Goodbye! That's all for today. This is Easy Grammar from eLearning English. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep mastering the art of language. See you soon!